What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And right now, I'm at this really cool 7-Eleven gas station in Orlando, Florida. And I really wanted to do a video here and show it to you guys because I really like the way they designed the 7-Eleven. It literally looks like something I've seen in an art studio, honestly. And in case you're all wondering, I actually don't live in Orlando, Florida at all. A stranger I met online brought me here. So yeah, I didn't quite get here by myself. But when do I ever get anywhere by myself anyway? This 7-Eleven is located within the city of Orlando, one of the largest cities in the center of the Floridian Peninsula. So let me show it to you guys. So first, I want to show you guys the gas prices. They're looking pretty good right now. Uh, $2.49 a gallon. Premium is $3, but the rest of them are under $3. I remember back in the mid-2000s, gas actually used to be more expensive. Like $4 or $5 a gallon. And that was crazy. But nowadays, it's down to less than $3 a gallon. And we can thank the awesome President Barack Obama for that. So right now, I'm actually inside of the 7-Eleven. And I really think it's really cool how they have this roofing thing like this and how they made it all colorful and everything. Seriously, I really want to see if I could build this in the United States of Joe Winko and have it be a landmark in the United States of Joe Winko because it is a very nice touch to the city of Orlando. Look at the roofing and the ceiling. I'm not exactly sure what term I should use to describe all this stuff above me, but look at those colors and everything. Here's a closer look at the ceiling design of the 7-Eleven. It really fascinates me because I've honestly never seen anything like this before. And I really think it's cool how they put so much work into designing this and everything. And it came out very well too. Because of my autism mind, I'm really sensitive to bright colors. And that's what caught my attention about this place how colorful and how bright the colors are too. And there's the 7-Eleven right behind me. I actually have been inside of it, but I'm not actually going to go in it right now. But it is really nice from the inside. And what I like about this 7-Eleven is that the bathrooms are actually private one room bathrooms, unlike the public bathrooms. I never liked public bathrooms. I prefer the private one room bathrooms. Those are so much better. There's another very interesting thing that caught my eye about this place. This sign right here. And this sign says that loud car stereo music is unlawful. I know that people frown upon that, but I never actually knew that it was illegal to blast your stereo up loud when you're parked at a gas station, seriously. But, in my honest opinion, since they have a law that restricts people from blasting their stereo music so loud because it gets on someone's nerves, they should also pass a law within the state of Florida that restricts motorcycle riders from taking their mufflers off and revving up their engines very loud. Because whenever they do that in the town in Florida I live in, I always get angry and upset because of my autism and I don't like loud noises, really. It startles me and it freaks me out. And imagine people with heart conditions when they hear an extremely loud motorcycle buzz by them. That can actually be very destructive to their health. And it's not good, really. So that's basically it for my video of showing this awesome 7-Eleven. It's very beautiful, very unique, very well designed, and very nice. So have you guys ever been to this specific 7-Eleven in the city of Orlando, Florida? And when did you go here? And what was your experience going here? And what did you think of it? And what did you think of its design and everything? 
please let me know in the comments and let's get a conversation started. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Okay, it's on now. What's up, guys? <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one, You too. So that's it. Peace out, people.